The chains of habit are too weak to be felt until they're too strong to be broken. Samuel Johnson couldn't have said it any better. If you're a young person who wants to make the most of his life, you already know the importance of having good habits that help you to achieve greatness. Greatness will never always be far from you when you form good habits. Although great achievers are often applauded, yet these achievers are simple men who have learnt to build great habits that help them to achieve their success. As a young person, do you think you're too young to overcome certain habits that would hinder your success? No, you're not. You need to make up your mind and start to overcome these habits. As Charles Deeg, author of The Power of Habit, Why We Do What We Do in Life and Business, said, Change might not be fast, and it isn't always easy. But with time and effort, almost any habit can be formed. If you have failed to build good habits for success in time past, you need to try again until you succeed. In this video, I'll be sharing with you some habits you must overcome if you must succeed as a young person. Do like this video right now and also subscribe to this channel so you don't miss other exciting videos like this. 1. Not planning You have read this maxim before. Failure to plan is planning to fail. If you do not plan your life and even your days, you are likely going to wonder how time went so fast when you grow older. Those who do not plan their lives are merely going to watch it go where they never imagined. Eleanor Roosevelt said, It takes as much energy to wish as it does to plan. When you make a habit of planning your life, you are training yourself to be focused on what you must do to achieve your life's vision. All of life's successes are characterized by planning. A vision that is not connected to a plan will never be actualized. But when your vision is tied to a plan, you have set yourself up to succeed in achieving that vision. You can overcome this habit by choosing to plan each day, each week, each month, each year and beyond. Sun Tzu said, Plan for what is difficult while it is easy. Do what is great while it is small. 2. Not preparing What you don't prepare for, you don't become. But if you are ready for it, or are preparing for it, your opportunity will eventually come. Abraham Lincoln said, I will prepare and someday my chance will come. When Jerry Seinfeld wanted to start as a comedian, he got a 365-day calendar and decided to write a joke for each day. Each day he wrote a joke, he ticked it off on the calendar. Even if the joke he wrote on a particular day wasn't good enough, he didn't mind. What mattered was that he wrote. Doing this for 365 days, missing not a single day, made him very good at writing jokes in just one year. Today, Jerry Seinfeld is one of America's highest paid comedians. Do what you must to prepare yourself. Your opportunity will eventually come. 3. Not dreaming If you're always waiting for the perfect time before you launch your dream, there will never be an ideal time. Those who wait for a perfect time to get into their dream will achieve nothing. Solomon, the wisest king who ever lived, said, the farmer who waits for perfect weather will plant nothing and would reap nothing when the harvest comes. If you aren't dreaming or you're afraid of dreaming, you can quit it. No matter how hard things are for you, you can still discover your dreams. Chris Gardner had a goal to become a successful stockbroker when his wife left him and their only son because he was poor and homeless. He achieved that dream. Poet James Langston Hughes said, Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life becomes a broken-winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams, for when dreams go, life becomes a barren field frozen with snow. You too can dream. Don't be afraid to dream. 4. Being quick to give up No one portrayed the bulldog attitude better than Abraham Lincoln. He failed in business at 21 lost a legislative race at age 22, failed in business again at 24, and lost a congressional race when he was 34. 
At 45, he had lost a senatorial race, and he failed in an attempt to become vice president when he was 47. Although he failed several times, he didn't give up until he became the US president at the age of 52. Stephen King's stories were rejected 1,500 times by different magazines, but he kept writing until he succeeded. Jack Canfield and Mark Hansen's book series, Chicken Soup for the Soul, was rejected by countless publishers. Not giving up, they soon found success. Success is achieved by those who never give up. Bulldog blood. Bulldog blood. Bulldog blood. That is all you need to keep going. Each time you're tempted to give up, tell yourself, it ain't over until it's over. 5. Making excuses. There will always be a reason not to do what you must. If you leave your life to excuses, you won't always have to do what you have to do because there will always be a reason why you cannot do it. But super achievers are men who have learnt never to consider excuses. When you learn never to accept excuses for yourself, you've broken perhaps one of your most significant barriers to becoming successful. Because no matter what you plan to achieve, there will always be a reason why it cannot be achieved. Jordan Belfort said, The only thing standing between you and your goal is the story you keep telling yourself as to why you can't achieve it. The impossible is always seemingly unachievable until someone tries. The person who tries blazes the trail for others to follow. So, will you try and try again? And when you fail, stand up still and try again, giving no excuses for not doing what you are supposed to do. When you're tempted to give excuses, you must always remember that no one is in control except you. Mark A. Cooper, an author of Absolutely Nothing, said, Everyone kept telling me not to worry. Someone will do something. No one did anything, so I became someone and did something. Thank you for watching this video. Please drop us a like, share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We love you.